is the main reason. Look at that. One dart by name and very much on show tonight. Five out of eight. 83. Well, Peter Manley had a 12 dart leg there. So for James Wade to win it, he would have had to have a nine. He hit three consecutive 140s. Peter Manley's in the zone. 124. He's certainly in the zone. And it just shows you when you get on that roll. It's happened so many times this tournament. Tavern did it in the first game tonight. Once you get on that little roll, you've got to take advantage. You can't let a player of James Wade standard back into the game. 100. Hey, Wade going to have to produce a comeback. Exactly like Alan Tavern did to beat Yella Klassen. What a performance from 96. Peter Manley. It's the sort of display that we've been used to over the years, but we've seen all too rarely over the last 12 or 18 months. 43. I think the best performance of the year was when he beat Taylor in the Premier League. It certainly was, and he, he rings me up and tells me about it every week. But this was a big tournament for Peter, this one and the World Championships. He's certainly making a big effort here to get himself back up to where he probably belongs. So we'll have to go for the... Well, is it the ball? So it's 43 for three for double top. Well, he's hit it every time he's thrown. And that one's no different. Another one down for one down. 6-2 lead now. Well, Wade just has no answer to this. I mean, it is phenomenal finishing from Peter Manley. His scoring hasn't been bad either, but nine six nine. out of nine on the doubles. And I mean, after two legs, we we're thinking that, that the way that Wade was playing and the way that Manley was playing, that uh, Wade could be coasting to victory. But what a performance. Six of the very best from Peter Manley. Well, I remember Peter playing James 100. Wade in the semi final in Las Vegas. And he was in a similar position and let it slip. I have to remember, it's best over 17. And 43. James is dancing on the hockey at the moment because as soon as he throws his first one, he has to move over because he can't see the lights going underneath the wire. And it causes big problems, doesn't it? When you, when you can't get the first dart right, either going just too high or too low. And again, he's gone, he's gone too low and looks like he's been forced to switch down to cover on the treble 19. Well, when he gets to the next break, he'll have to put some high heels on, I think. So he can reach that treble. Manley's certainly been finding it. 60. So a chance away to pull a leg back here. Well, he's at the treble at last. Well, that was a bad last out there, leaves him 99. And, but if he hits it, he'll... 201 for Manley. If he does hit a treble with the first two, he'll probably go for the bull with the last one to leave a two dart finish. If he misses, he'll stay upstairs. Well, he might go. No, he's staying up. 100. Leaves 61. Well, James Wade on 99. He needs to hit it. And if he gets it, I'll put a flake in for him. Chance here. Yeah, double top. Now then. Biggest dart for James 19. Wade. And uh, yet again, Did he's blown it. Now, Peter Manley here, 67% checkout success rate. Double 18. Now then, he's hit this once to win a leg tonight, and he's done it again. This is a fantastic display from Peter Manley. I think it's fair to say he really is rolling back the years, and the world number three is being blown away in spectacular fashion as Manley wins seven legs on the spin. Well, one doubt has certainly turned the machine off. 60. Yet to get going, but that's no disrespect to Peter Manley. He just hasn't missed after that first two legs. James Wade went ahead 2-0. Since then, it's been the one doubt Manley show. Scoring, finishing, and he's certainly in the pink, and now he's in the red. Oh, well, at the moment, he's unstoppable, he really is. Peter Manley with a third maximum. Is it going to be an eighth consecutive leg? I think with Wade, a lot of it is to do with confidence. 
He lost in the first round of the World Grand Prix in Dublin, beaten by Tony Eccles. Opening match, opening night, and he got straight on a plane and, and flew flew home. He was he was so angry and frustrated with that performance. 60. He won't be happy with this either. No, if he keeps scoring like that, he'll be going home on the plane again tomorrow. A chance for Peter here, a nice ton will leave 118. My left 18 to leave 160. We've already had a 160 this weekend. Well, the problem again with the first dart, and I, I really think, I really believe that Wade doesn't believe in himself, and that's been the problem uh, throughout this match. Yeah, but Peter Manley has played at his very, very best. Uh, we've got a break after this leg and Wade if he hits this he'll be looking forward to the break Peter Manley would like to stay on stage I would say well he's got the double in the end and broke the momentum from Peter Manley so now we've got a break Peter Manley goes ahead 7-3 when he come back from the break We're watching Peter Manley producing one of his best performances of the year. Look at that. He was 2-0 down and won seven consecutive legs. James Wade may have stopped the rot, but Manley needs just two more legs for a place in the quarter-final and a massive clash with Alan Tabern. Well, yeah. James Wade, an ex-mechanic. But Peter Manley certainly put a spanner in the works. 140. They don't get any better, do they? But after that 1 2 7 finish in the second leg from Wade, it looked like normal ser service resumed. But since then, Peter Manley on the roller coaster train. Well, we've already seen a brilliant comeback from Tabern to beat Classen. Wade's going to have to produce something special here, but some big names to come. Taylor against King uh, to follow this. And then uh, Raymond Van Barneveld in action against Dennis Priestley. And Dart's great entertainer rounds off day three of the European Championship. Whoa. Wayne Mardle against the inform Mark Walsh. That's all to come. Now, can James Wade produce another stunning fight back here Whoa. in Frankfurt? Or is Peter Manley going to edge closer to a place in the quarterfinals? His finishing has been fabulous tonight. Well, Mr. Treble 17 needed that for double 16. So Wade coming back on 81. 47. Curtis if that 140 with the last throw, taking a deep breath. Down for 19. Treble will leave double 12. If it's a single, it goes 12 ball. If it's a treble, it's double 13. Double 13. And he seems to pull that to the left. So another chance for Manley. Not missed much tonight. Huge dart for Manley. Well, he just pulled it, didn't he? Perhaps rushed the last dart there, Peter Manley. That's the first time that we've seen him edgy and nervy on the doubles. Now, James Wade here to give himself a lifeline, and he does. It's two consecutive legs for Wade. Crucially, it's a break of throw. Well, Klassen missed three darts to go 7-3 up on Tabern, and Manley has just missed two darts to go 8-3 up on Wade. Will that be crucial? Well, how many times have we seen when people come back from a break? Tabern did it against Klassen. Wade won the first before the break. And that first one against the throw there. So if he can win this with his throw, he'll be back.